Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? I hope all you are fine. Uh, in this short video, we learn the trick to uh, remember the leukocyte count. I'll give you a short mnemonic, short trick to learn the or to memorize the leukocyte count. The number of total number of uh, white blood cells uh, uh, and to remember the total number of white blood cells is very challenging for the students. They never remember, or you can say they do not remember the names and the proper percentages of, of white blood cells. Because definitely it's a very uh, different thing. Okay, so in this short video, in the end, you'll know how to remember the leukocyte count in, in a very short period of time. Okay, so share this video with all the students, with all, with all your friends. Okay, and never, uh, uh, never, you can say, miss this video. Guys, stay connected, watch the complete video. Okay, so let's begin. It's a very interesting video, by the way. Okay, so uh, there are three mnemonics I have selected. In the beginning, we'll discuss this mnemonic and then later on, I'll share this one as well. Okay, so nobody likes my educational background. Never let monkeys eat bananas and never let my engine blow. These three mnemonics, uh, you can say they are very simple. Uh, obviously, these are very simple sentences. We can definitely uh, memorize these three sentences. The Danis, there is no much, there is no problem in, uh, in learning these three sentences. Okay, so I'll explain it. Actually, these three sentences stand for the same thing. Or you can say the uh, the red the white blood cells in the descending percentages. If we arrange the white blood cells in the uh, in the uh, you can say descending percentages. For example, neutrophils, then lymphocytes, then monocytes, then eosinophil, and in the end basophils. So neutrophils for nobody, lymphocytes for uh, likes, my monocytes educational for eosinophils and background for basophils. Or if you do not want to use this sentence, so you can use these two, two, these two sentences as well. Never let monkeys eat banana, never for neutrophil, let for lymphocytes, monkeys for monocytes, eat for ozonophil and bananas for basophil. And definitely the third one is also the same. And the percentages are very simple. Percentages, you can learn the percentage in this way. 60, 30, 6, 3, 1. 60 for neutrophils, 30 for lymphocytes, Monocyte 6, ozonophils 3% and 1% basophils, okay? Now, if you put the uh, lymphocyte in a granular and granular categories, we know that white blood cells fall into two categories on the presence of their cytoplasm granular or a granular. So, you should, you should uh, learn this mnemonic, never eat monkey, never eat bananas like monkey, okay? So, granulocyte, neutrophil, ozonophil and basophils. Never neutrophils, eat ozonophils, bananas, basophils, and a granules are lymphocytes and monocytes. So, like and monkeys are for lymphocytes and monocytes. So, if we prepare any aptitude test in which the definitely an aptitude test, so many MCQs uh, will come in your paper. So, we should cram the tricks, we should uh, cram some biological concepts. Okay, so this is the very important concept to learn the uh, white blood cell count. Okay, so definitely this video will help you. And in the end, uh, you now got an idea how to remember the leukocyte count. So never, never forget to share this video with your friends, with the, all the students. And press the bell icon in order to get all the instant notification from my channel. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.